Joshua 2.10a La sichon ula og asher hecheramtem otam. Here Rahab's been speaking about the two kings of the Amorites, and now she's going to spell it out further. Uh, namely, or to Sihon and to Og, who uh, you have utterly destroyed them. This verb, hecheramtem, this comes from chet resh mem. Uh, and in this case, we can see the he attached to the beginning. So this is an indicator that this is from the hifiel stem. And we can see the heavy ending. Uh, hifiel, um, perfect, 2MP. You have devoted them to destruction. So both the verb form of cherem and the associated noun uh, very controversial terms, uh, has the connotation of completely destroy or to put to the ban, uh, and it also has the sense of uh, dedicated to the Lord. Now, in the narrative of Numbers chapter 20, the first few verses, uh, because some of the Canaanites had taken captives from Israel, they made a vow to put the people of Canaan to the ban. So this is uh, really where we first see in the Pentateuch the uh, use of the term cherem to refer to uh, the utter destruction of the Canaanites. And it starts with the people's vow, and the Lord fulfilled his end. He did give back the people of Israel from their captivity in Canaan. And so then we do see in the book of Deuteronomy this language begins to be used of what needs to happen to the people of Canaan. And so, of course, this is precisely the language that Rahab uses. We heard that you put them to the ban. 